In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still... Oh. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heroes who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. No more for now. Focus. Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough detail they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. Alt into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks. A subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thanks a lot. Mimir, how did they capture Garm in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. Can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet.
Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, Thrud's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced. But I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. I met someone I like. How would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I... no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's... doesn't matter. Seems useful. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. I'll do it. Oh, got time to chat?
father's new spear. It's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulder brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the Dropnir drips out identical copies of itself. The Huldras presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. Father's dragon is still here. It looks like it landed only yesterday. Aye, Cole preserved it. You've come quite a way since <laughs> then, lad. Thanks. Mimir, do you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah. <laughs> is he, like, charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No. Just a weird brother. You smell trouble, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Take out these springs! <laughs> 